Good morning, Mike. What's up, buddy? What's up? What do you think of what Stephen A. said about what Jerry told us yesterday? Well, first of all, you know, Stephen A. You know, I, I, that's one word I never try. It was one word I try to stay away from on TV. You know, especially in our business, that yeah. someone's lying because it's not really a lie. But if we're not be, if we're trying to not give you all the truth, that's one thing, and that's and that's plausible in this business. That's what we do. Yep. It's like, I'm not going to tell you the first 15 damn plays I'm going to run. You can ask me, and I'm going to say, yeah, we're going to run it. But, but it's not a lie. I'm just not giving you it all because of, of, of the competition and, and, and the battling. It's, why, why should Jerry say, yeah, you going to fire you if, if we don't win this game? Why would you even send that? Why would you send that into your playoff week? So, you know, it's just, yeah, that, that, that's what it is. I don't think. I, I certainly wouldn't say Jerry's lying, but 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 I do believe. And I see. You know, I saw this morning where ESPN said, "Well, you know, Jerry Gailey went to back to back playoffs, and he still got fired." That was a totally different thing. Everybody wanted Chan Gailey out. I mean, everybody on the team wanted Chan Gailey out. To be totally honest with you, we never really accepted it anyway when he changed that offense. This is a whole different thing. You know, you go back to back, twelve, thirteen wins, you see twelve win seasons and everything. It's hard to get rid of a coach when he does that. This, this playoff game is huge, Joe. It, it really is. It's big. It's how it plays. If he goes in and plays like that, boy, like that boo and boo or that do and do we saw last night, <laughs> that, that last week, then, yeah, man, I'm going to go over there and help pack his bags. Get him up out of here. <laughs> Does last week matter? Oh, oh, only it depends on how he plays. Hey, we, we can't say last week doesn't matter. Until we see how they play this week, yeah, I, I'll skirt last week if you show up and send Tom home, but I'm not gonna skirt last week if you show up and play like you played this last week. This week, then it becomes a problem, and that's where the Mike McCarthy stuff has to start coming into play. How the hell can you show up like you showed up last week? You know, with with with, with I know it was week 18. I know you really didn't have a shot at the number one seed because Sam Fran wasn't going to lose. And, and I really like where you are. I ain't necessarily even want a number two seed, even if it means you get some playoff games home. Because I wanted to see Tom in this first round because of what I've seen all season out of Tom. We've been putting up 30-some points, not this last game, of course. But, but they, they've, been having, they've been struggling to put up points. So it seemed like a good matchup to start with and get a notch up under our belt. Now they just got to go get it done. And if they show that junk they showed last week on a football field again, then every day I'm about to need to be fired. <laughs> Michael Irvin here on the Diamond Factory Hotline. So last year, you were right. We were wrong about the San Fran matchup. You 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 like this one. You're, you're, you're not full of anxiety over Cowboys-Tampa Bay. How do they match up? I, I, I think Dallas. Here and here's the issue now. Here's the only issue I have. Last year I was worried. Last year I was worried about the physicalness and and, the, and their, their ability to run the ball. I'm not worried about that this week, this year. And and and, and uh, but I, now the matchup becomes now that that Dallas, uh, Tampa's defense defensive line against our offensive line without Bashad. Well, I know I know he's coming back, but how healthy he'll be because we really oh we really. Let me put one more really in there. We really missed him last week. That thing was ugly. That thing was ugly last week. That whole, we got dominated offensive line, defensive line. We played poorly. That that pick six, oh, my God. That pick six, I watched that play. I watched that route. Noah ran. It was a three route. You take a slight angle outside, your third inside step, you roll off that step and, and, and roll – you roll out at 10, you go back to 12, you come back, take that ball at 11 yards. But the angle, the angle Noah Brown took, it's a slight angle. It's supposed to be a slight angle. You can't be, you can't make such a determining angle because once you go at such a hard angle, out, the co- the cornerback sits. He's saying, well, at that angle, he's not threatening me, so I don't have to flip my hips. All I'm doing is sitting because at that angle, he's just going to run into the sideline. And then Dak throws it. I don't know why Dak throws that ball. I, I know it's a timing route. I know it's a timing route. But that cornerback sat right there. And that was the easiest pick six 
in the history of the NFL <laughs> when you got that throw and that route put together. In the history <laughs> of the NFL, they cannot show up like that again. Michael, um, talk about how it is playing a team, not a division team, because you know, obviously you do that every year, for the second time in a season. How much can you take from the first game? Uh, you know, How hard is it to beat a team twice? Oh, you can take much from the first game. You, you, you can look at the kind of things that they did, of course, to, to have success against you and, and to try to start mitigating and moving those things around. Now, now the problem coming in when it's three times and you play beat somebody twice because – You've given them two game plans that work. You don't mean they even have a third or, you know what I'm saying? They've already prepared for all of the things that you put together to, to, to win those games. And it becomes, man, it becomes tough. And then the mindset be, the mindset of the players, like, man, we already beat this team twice. It's hard to focus in as keenly as you need to when you beat a team twice. So that, that becomes an issue. I, I, I don't think this should be an issue. This should be set up perfectly. Because Tampa won, they'll say, we did, it. we won, let's go do some of the same things. Dallas played a close game but lost, then they should be hungry. So remember, they got us last time, but we knew that we get here, we beat them. This was the best matchup week one, I thought, I mean, our playoff, for the first round of the playoffs, I thought for Dallas. And that's why I kept saying, give me Tom Brady and give me Tampa Bay. Woo! Michael, is, uh, is Dak the best quarterback on the NFC side, or is there somebody else you'd prefer to have over him for this playoff run? That's a great question, man. Because I was looking at that. Did you see that they did that? A, I saw that a couple of weeks ago, where where all of our quarterbacks on the NFC side came from, and all of the quarterbacks on the AFC side came from. They all on the AFC side. They were all first round. <laughs> We've been scattered, you know, over here. That was real. That's very really interesting. But look, I, I look on the NFC side. You ask me, excuse me. You ask me which team, which quarterback would I take out of all these quarterbacks? Yeah, yeah. There's no doubt. I would take Dak over everybody. I would definitely take Dak over everybody that I see on the NFC side. <laughs> excuse me. Now Jalen Hurts in that offense is a, is a whole different thing, and I think Jalen has shown them his value even when he was out. What is the difference in grass versus turf? Uh, Cowboys are one and four on grass this year. They've been they've struggled since 2017. Uh, how different is it for a turf team to go play on grass? Yeah, I I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I don't buy that. I play my best on on, on natural surfaces. Let me correct that word. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say. I play my best on grass. Don't get on out of here with that. Some of that ain't, up, some of that ain't natural, Mike. Some of that stuff ain't natural. <laughs> right, right. Synthetic turf. Well, that's natural too, right? That's natural too. All that's going to be good. All right, stop it, Mike. Right. So I, I don't know why. I don't know why people are having problems talking about Playing on this natural surface, I love playing on a natural surface. It, 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 it let way less pressure on your knees. They assume and and they say it makes you less fast, there's less speed. I, I I don't necessarily buy that either. But of course, I was never a speed demon, so I wouldn't know what less speed means. Michael Irvin, the playmaker on the Diamond Factory Hotline here on DFW Sports Station. Okay, so keys to the game, Mike. Keys to the game. You're not worried about the physicality. What, what are your cowboy keys to get this done? We have to we have to get a run game going some kind of way, and we have to get a pass rush to make sure we cover the back end. We got to take care of the business on the front end because we're listen, man. We're, we're hurting on that one corner. Man. Yeah, we're just flat out hurt, and Tom is going to try to exploit. It. You got to get to Tom. You can't let Tom sit back, get comfortable. And a lot of people, for some reason, think Mike Evans can get deep. Mike Evans can still get deep, you know. If we can keep Tom playing football outside in and don't give him anything inside out, make him keep throwing to Mike Evans. If he throws to Mike Evans all day, we win this football game. 
But if, if he starts throwing that ball in the middle of the field, man, then, then, then it's going to be a long day because no one is as patient as Tom, and no one can – I don't want really to say nickel and dime you all the way down the field. I'm talking about penny and nickel you all the way down the field. <laughs> Two yards here, four yards there. Three yards there, four yards here. Three, yeah, they're penny and nickel you all the way down the field and then put you in panic situations – make you make bad plays. That's a we we, we got to get to Tom and don't let him penny and nick us all down the field. Are you picking the Cowboys? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my route. I can't turn it now. This is exactly the route I wanted. I I wanted the Cowboys to go here where we get Minnesota and Giants. They will we'll let some of those good teams that beat themselves up a little bit and then we we come back and try to take that approach and try to try to see who we get next. But yeah, yeah, of course I'm taking the Cowboys. The Cowboys should win this game. Listen, the Cowboys should win this game. Tampa hadn't put up 30 points maybe once or twice this season. I was looking it over there. I know they lost again 41-31. I think maybe twice this season they put up that kind of point. We've been putting it up all year long. We just got to go in and do what we at least average. Go ahead, go put in the points you have. Go give me 35. Go give me 30 points, 35 points. That should be enough to win this game. All right. Is there another matchup, another team you have a funny feeling about? Is there is there an upset you think is brewing out there for the rest of this uh this opening weekend? Boy, that's it. Yeah. What what would I say? Let me see. Well, let me see. What what would I say? Minnesota the Giants? Yeah. Where would you say that that I I I, I Man, I think we got pretty some pretty good games and all even in match, pretty good matchups. You know, because I think the Giants have a chance to beat Minnesota. Mm-hmm. You, you saw that when they played. I think they'll have a chance to beat Minnesota. Certainly, uh, you know, over here, Dallas and Tampa, you know what that's going to be like. And, and if I go on the AFC side, the, the only – well, we don't know what's going on with Lamar, which is a whole new world to me. Yeah. I can't even understand how coaches sitting up there saying – well, we don't really know what's going on. I was telling people the other day, do you know what happened? When Troy hurt, when Troy was hurt, them people, them, them, them trainers, you think he's just going to wait? You come to, to work to get treatment? Them trainers went to dinner with him. They went home with him. They went to bed. When he yeah. took him, when he was taking a boo and a boo, they were in the ice in his feet. <laughs> <laughs> me. You okay, Troy? You need to get to that toilet paper for you? What you doing here? You know what I'm saying? And how the hell do y'all not know what's going on with Lamar? Y'all ain't send no trainer home with him? This the kind of stuff. Dude, listen. See, y'all don't know this stuff. Because so y'all in the locker room. They don't, when a quarterback's hurt, they don't get no free time. They stay with him. I'm telling you, them trainers, they, 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 they move in with him. They wake him up, ice him. They wake him up, they put him in. That's what blows my mind, that, that, that John Harbaugh is going to be said, I don't know what's going on. What's going on. So that means you ain't got no trainer moved in with him. He didn't even allow you to do that. So that tells me something. I, I, that, that, I, I'm watching to see what happens in that game. If Lamar don't play, they ain't got chance. That'll be the game that you said, don't even worry about. Gold as always. Enjoy the, the natural and synthetic, whatever it is, Mike, the toilet paper. Gold as always. <laughs> thank, thank you, brother. We appreciate it. All right, baby. My All right, love. Guys.